Hi, everybody. Ugh, that was not very happy. Hi, everyone. Today, I'm going to be doing a part two to my diet video that I just filmed. I'm going to be doing the part two, which is exercise, which is my personal favorite. I personally don't like dieting, but I love exercise. So let's get into it. Just like my other video, I'm going to start out by saying that it really is a change in lifestyle that makes a difference, not just a change in your behavior. Behavior, you know, is er you know, erratic and it will change really quickly and you may just give up really quickly. If you change your lifestyle, it's going to be something that, you know, you carry with you and that you will maintain over a long span of time, which is what you want. So, first tip, number one, is start off slow. This is really hard when you're really motivated. Like when you have one of those days where you're like, I'm going to get fit. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to run as far as I can. I'm just going to do it. That's not going to get you anywhere. You don't want to be a weekend athlete. You want to just, you want something that um, you can maintain over time. Like just for some reference, what I started off doing, I started off um, walking, which, you know, it's just walking, but I started off walking, I walked outside, walked on the treadmill, walked my dog a lot. If you have a dog, it's a really good way to get yourself moving. So I would walk every other day. I would try to walk a mile if I could, but if I didn't, you know, I'd try to get over a half mile. So I did that every other day, and then I moved to every day, and then I started running every day, and then I gradually started lifting weights as well, but we'll get into that. So start slowly. Don't feel like you need to do it all at once, you're just going to hurt yourself, get an injury, and you're not going to be able to maintain it over time because you're going to get really sore and it's just not going to be good. So number two, don't get discouraged. Progress is progress. No matter how small it is, you're still making progress. Don't get discouraged by it. You know, if you walked 0.5 miles yesterday and you walked 0.6 today, that's still an improvement. No matter how small it is, it's still you're still making progress because it takes time and just be proud of yourself for the progress that you're making. Number three, set small sub goals. This is something that really helped me because um, it wasn't so much so fast. It's not like I want to lose 25 pounds and be in the best shape of my life. It was, you know, I'd like to lose five pounds and gain a little bit of muscle if I can too. You know, you want to set these small goals for yourself. And once you achieve a small goal, you can say, you know, accurately if you think you're able to keep going and not be angry at yourself if your body, um, you know, looks better than you expected or looks worse or you think you need to lose less or more, you know. Just give yourself small sub goals so that you have a little bit of wiggle room. You don't, you know, make too big of a commitment too fast. So my sub goal was 15 pounds, which I actually think in retrospect was a little bit big. This is kind of goes off of this. This probably should be a tip in itself, but I'm just going to add it in now that um, your weight isn't everything. Especially when you're working out, I talked about this in the last video, that don't get obsessed with the scale and everything. But when you're lifting weights and gaining muscle and everything, your weight really doesn't mean as much as it used to. Because you don't know if that weight is fat, you don't know if it's muscle. I actually <laughs> gained like 5 pounds really quickly and I didn't know why because I'm like, I lost 10 pounds. Like, like it just... It was like a month. Like, it was too easy, practically. I just really changed my diet and started, you know, some cardio. But after um, I started lifting weights, I gained five pounds, and I was like, what? Like, I've been eating so healthy. How could I be gaining weight? And then I figured, you know what? I'm gaining muscle. And, you know, since all that weight is, all that weight's come off, plus five more, or ten more now. So it's not... um don't get too upset if you gain weight when you start doing like weight training. It's similar to start slow, but um, four, don't push yourself too much. You once you have um, established a routine and you really um, are accustomed to it, and you feel like you're getting more comfortable and you're not going to hurt yourself, and um, then you can increase the intensity a little bit, add a little bit more weight, add a few more reps, you know. But you don't want to start too much too fast, and that's. It's very similar to number one, just start slowly, but don't push yourself, you know. A lot of people in the fitness community say, you know, if it's if you're not feeling it, then it's not doing anything, which is true to a certain point, but when you're first starting out, you don't wanna you don't wanna feel too much because you're gonna be very sore and you may hurt yourself. So don't push yourself too hard before you know what you're doing. Um, five, this one is very important. Find an exercise that you genuinely love. You know, sounds really stupid, like oh, Everybody hates exercise. It's not true. 
there really are those people out there that love it. And, you know, I always thought of those people that say, oh, I'm addicted to working out. I'm like, you have a problem. I'm addicted to doing nothing. But I really am addicted to working out now. And I was always like, you know, if I'm going to work out, I have to run. I just have to run because it's going to burn calories and I'm going to be skinny. I am not a runner. I force myself to run every day just as a warm-up. But um, another thing, warming up is extremely important. Even if you lift weights, warm-up. Warm-up is warming up and stretching. I don't think I added that. Warming up and stretching, extremely important. Do not pass those up or you will injure yourself. But yeah, I force myself to run just as uh, a warm up. Cardio is not for everyone, especially those with asthma like me. If I run a mile, I'm like, <gasps> like I cannot breathe at all. So I have to, you know, run for a couple minutes, then walk, then run, then walk, you know. But I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I am conscious of the fact that I am running the entire time. You know, just kind of look around and see, you know, maybe it be yoga or Pilates. I love Pilates, um, Zumba, any of those things. Take a class, see what you like. Um, for me, I really found what I love in weight training, like especially I love free weights and, you know, the weight machines are great. So, you know, things like that, just, just try, just kind of you know, step your toe into the water and see what you like and, you know, it's all about experimenting and see, seeing what exercise is the best for you because that's something I really didn't realize for a long time is that, oh, you know, I don't have to just do cardio and I can enjoy working out. Huh, you know, that was revolutionary to me. Six, have friends and family help you stay on track, which, um, this is something that I do a lot. I'll just, you know, tell my family, about, you know, my plans and stuff, everything, and be like, don't let me eat that, don't let me do it, make me go to the gym, do it, do it, <laughs> and most of the time, I can make myself go by myself, but, you know, just having someone else there to just kind of encourage you and telling you, you know, oh, you're doing a good job, oh, you know, I'm seeing a difference, or, you know, did you go to the gym today, how was it, you know, that kind of thing, it can be really helpful, so just letting your family in and your friends on what you're doing can be really helpful just to stay on track and then, you know, if everybody knows about it, you're going to want to keep going because you're not going to want to, you know, lose at this game that you're playing. <laughs> it's probably a bad way to look at it. Seven, get a workout buddy. I know tons of people say this. I don't really have a workout buddy, but I tend to force different people to go to the gym with me. So, you know, um, since I've joined a gym, my mom goes with me sometimes. We tend to go on, like, be in our own little world when we go and kind of do our own thing, but it's still really fun to have somebody to go with, and then, you know, I've taken my dad with me, and one of my friends goes with me sometimes, but, um, sometimes it's fun just to have somebody to talk to, or, you know, have someone to train. It kind of, it's a little, it's inspiring to help somebody else on their, you know, road to getting healthier, or have them help you. Eight. This is really big too. Gym memberships are worth the money. I know it's expensive. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, tell you that it's not because it is. You know, if somebody said, you know, would you pay a couple hundred dollars to be in better shape? You go, yeah, of course. So why wouldn't you pay some money to be able to do that for yourself? So that was something I did for myself as a gift. <laughs> Um, for when I came home from school, I joined a gym and I thought, you know, this is a gift to myself to better myself. So, you know, maybe ask um, your parents if you could get that as a gift for a holiday or something, or if somebody's willing to chip in, or just do it for yourself. Work towards it. It's really worth the money. Motivates you more because you're around other people. You know, you're not just going to be like, oh, I'm around for five minutes. I'm going to sit on the couch and watch TV now. You're going to be motivated when you're around a lot of other people that are doing the same thing as you. So that's super, super helpful, I think. It helps to keep you on track. Reward yourself with your progress. I definitely think it's important. It doesn't have to be something really big, but you know, if you reach one of your sub goals, you know, you get yourself something that's going to motivate you. I lost five pounds and went out and bought myself or a new workout outfit. You know, just say something you feel really good about and you and you associate that. It's just, you know, positive reinforcement, <laughs> you know, basic psychology. So just, you know, reinforce that behavior. And, you know, if you have a really hard time getting into the gym one day and you go anyway and, you know, you, you, know, you tough it out and you get there, go to Starbucks after. <laughs> That's what I do. Get a small and get it non-fat, but go to Starbucks. Um, 
But that doesn't mean running a mile and then going home and eating half a cake, but because <laughs> that's a little bit counterproductive. But you know, small rewards are very. 10. Develop a routine and con continue to challenge yourself. We talked about this a little bit, but once you have developed a routine and you know what you're capable of, you know, continue to challenge yourself a little bit, up the weight, you know, add a few more sets, stuff like that. Once you know what you're doing, continue to challenge yourself so you can see more progress. I, I love that, but before you're ready, don't. Just in comfortable shoes and, and a decent exercise wardrobe doesn't have to be extensive, you know, just a couple pairs of like running tight type things and you know a couple, you could even wear shirts that you have. I personally like wearing tank tops because I get really hot, you know, sports, a couple sports bras, stuff like that. You know, just, well, if you're a girl or if you're, if you're a guy and you're into that, I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's, it really is motivating if you go to the gym and you feel like People are taking, I know this is really stupid, but people, I feel like people take me more seriously if I'm wearing something like what they're wearing and I'm like, oh, I'm one of them, right, you know. I don't know. I feel like that helps me. It might be kind of silly, but I really do feel like it helps me. So that's what I tend to do for my rewards is get myself a new exercise garment. <laughs> and for the shoe thing, you know, it's basically you don't want to injure yourself. You want good shoes so your feet don't hurt you, you know. Footwear is one thing that I never am super frugal about. Like, you know, you want to get the best deal that you can, but I never buy super cheap shoes. I'll buy a cheap, a cheap shirt, I don't care. But cheap shoes, I'm going to wear them for a long time. They need to be supportive and not hurt my feet. So that's really something that you should not skimp out on. And 12, don't be intimidated by people at the gym. I know this is kind of hard, because when I first went in the gym, you know, I think everybody has this feeling. When you, like, the first time you go, you're like, oh my god, all these people are fit. What are they doing here? Like, I'm so out of shape. Like, they're going to judge me so hardcore. In all honesty, nobody cares. Like, now that I'm in better shape, I don't look at the people that are in bad shape and go, oh, like, what are they doing here? I go, good. I just think, wow, good for them. Like, they're trying to better themselves just like me, and that's great. Like... I tend to be proud of everybody that's there, and I think, you know, the more out of shape you are, the more guts it takes to go, and I'm, the more proud I am. Like, I have a lot of respect for that. So, I think there's, like, a general feeling of respect between the people there. Like, I think most people just feel like, you know, they're all there for the same reason. Everyone's just trying to get better. So, you know, there's no reason to judge anyone else. So, don't feel that way. Team. Use the internet to inspire you. This is something that I do sometimes. It's kind of silly, but if I'm like, I don't feel like going to the gym today, you know, I'm going to go on, I go on Pinterest or I'll go on, on YouTube and look at like fitness videos or like fitness inspiration quotes. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably see some of those, but like, you know, it can just really be that little push that you need to get you to the gym that day. Just go, I don't feel like it. Or you see somebody's technique and you're just like, oh, that's so great. I want to do that. So then you go and do it. So it's just motivating. It helps. I do that a lot. This number 14, this is something that I was kind of hesitant about just because I was afraid of the judgment that may come from it, but it ended up being a really good thing. Um, use social media to your advantage. And I always saw people's, you know, before and after pictures and like, wow, that's really great, you know, like good for them. They lost all, you know, lost weight, got fit, whatever. Um, but I was like, I could never do that. I don't want anybody to know what I look like in a sports bra. Like, they're gonna make fun of me. They're gonna, you know, do this or do that. But really, even after losing just, I think, 10 pounds, not even working out very much, I posted a picture. And I got so much love and so much support from everybody. You know, everyone was so, you know, proud of me and really happy for me. And it just really, like, motivated me to do even better and, like, make everyone proud of me. And, it just really made me feel good and made me, you know, want to keep going. So that really helped out. So I recommend doing that, you know, and if anyone says anything rude, just ignore them. They don't, they're probably just jealous. 15. Drink tons of water. This is something that I do anyway, but water is something that's extremely important when you're working out, especially like if you're lifting weights. You, I read somewhere that was like, you burn like three times more water as you would doing anything like a normal activity just you know 
normal day-to-day -day life when you're lifting weights, so you should drink like three times as much water. And I usually drink about three, well, th maybe three bottles of water, maybe four, when I'm at the gym, just within like an hour, an hour and a half. So that's something that's really important. It's very easy to get dehydrated when you're working out a lot, so be very wary of that. Si 16. Be aware of how much food you need when you're working out. This is something that was kind of difficult for me, that I was, you know, just doing light cardio every day. And then when I started lifting weights, I got much hungrier, and I didn't understand, and I was like, you know, I'm failing at my diet, what's wrong? You know, when you, I then it, you know, kind of occurred to me, and I did some research, when you're exerting yourself that much, you need more food. Doesn't mean you need to go pay out on things that are horrible for you, but you really do need to nourish yourself, and if you're exerting yourself a lot, you're going to require more nourishment. So definitely, you know, um, my, in my diet video, I talked about a protein-rich diet. That's very important. So definitely think about that. And then, 17. Um, staying committed is everything. Once you see results, you're going to become addicted to it. So it's just like a diet, you know, it's really, really hard at the beginning, and you get kind of discouraged, you're like, oh, I'm not really seeing your results. Just stick to it. Patience and being committed is absolutely everything. One day you're going to wake up and you're just going to be like, wow, I look really different. And so it takes a while to see it, it takes a while for it to happen, and you know, the changes are slow, but it will be worth it. It is so worth it. And then number 17. <sighs> these are just strange numbers, but these are the numbers that I came up with, so whatever. Um... This is the same thing I said at the end of my diet video, but I agree with it for both subjects. Think of this as a reward, not a punishment, because I always punished myself in the past that, oh, you ate something bad, so you need to go run. Think of it as improving yourself because you care, and because you love your body, and you want it to be healthy, and this is a reward that you're doing for yourself out of love and not hate. All of this is about promoting self-love and not being, you know, down on yourself. I know body image is really hard. I've struggled with it a lot, but this is something that is really important and it goes with the lifestyle change. Is thinking on um, changing the way that you think about your body and thinking of it from a loving perspective. And that is the biggest thing that you can do for yourself. I hope that these tips help you. They've completely changed my life. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. And if you like these types of fitness and health videos, give it a thumbs up. And um, thank you so much for watching. Bye!